Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is coming from Lego Star Movies and Magic Sparks 95. They had both requested the uh, same thing. And this week it's going to be about how I do my gun blasts. And there's two different ways I can do this. And the first way is as seen in the first Frozen Terror movie. And this is an animation way. And what I mean by that is that it's in the animation as opposed to being a computer effect. So, in order to do this, what we're going to need is um, just, you know, your gun. You're going to need some paper, maybe colored pencils if you want to, and something like Vaseline or um, Vicks Vaporub, which is what I use. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut two different types of shape out of the paper, and you want to measure them to the gun. And your first shape is going to be a V shape. Mine has been outlined with this yellow colored pencil. I think it gives a nice effect. The other one is a cone shaped like this. And you're going to alternate between the two. Uh, depending on what kind of gun you use, you want to change your frame rate. For the pulse rifles, I did 15 frame, or 30 frames a second. And for the AK-47, I did 15 frames a second. So I thought the pulse rifles sounded faster, so I animated them faster. And what you're going to do is, you're just going to get your little piece of uh, paper. So right now we're going to do the V-shape. And you're just going to take a little bit of the Vaseline on the edge. Just a little bit. Like enough just to get it kind of wet. The reason why you do that is because that's how you stick it to the gun. <laughs> this is a trick that I use and you want to just get enough to stick it on the gun like that and it should stay on and what the last thing you want to do is you want to get a flashlight and a flashlight you're going to shine it on that gun as close as you want as close as you can and you can do it from different angles depending on the frame and as you alternate between the V shapes and the cone shapes and that's how you do it with the animation. Now, for Frozen Terror 3, I used computers. Um, I did it in Photoshop. So I will do a tutorial on how to do it in Photoshop. So your first step is to take your images, do your animation, and then find the animations that have the gunshots. And what you're going to do is, you're going to open that image, you're going to create a new layer, and you're going to make a, either the cone or the V shape on top of the gun and using the lasso tool and then you want to fill it with some kind of yellow color then while still on that layer you want to unselect everything and you want to use Gaussian blur on it and make sure you get a nice blur not too blurry but blurry enough and then you're going to repeat this step by creating a new layer and you're going to copy either the cone or V shape and you're going to make it a little smaller so it fits inside the yellow shape and this time you're going to fill it with white and then again you're going to unselect it and you're going to blur it with the Gaussian blur next you want to merge all your layers and then what you want to do is you want to copy that layer you're going to select the background layer and you're going to make it brighter and I would say probably making it 30 to 50 percent brighter then you want to go back to the top layer you want to select your erase tool and get a big brush that's kind of feathered you want it really feathered or else it won't work that well and you want to kind of erase around the gun blast and around the gun and kind of along edges and this lighting will really make the gunshot stand out um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to merge all the layers and then you're just going to repeat this so the next gunshot you're going to alternate between the V shape or the cone shape and just alternate between those two and if you want as I did and you don't have to do this but I like the way it looked better it's really at your discretion uh, you can add a lens flare to the gun blast and um, just want to kind of make sure it's consistent that you're doing the same lens flare because if you have it going at different angles it's going to make it look really funny 
And that about wraps it up. So please send in your tutorial requests. I got more on the way. Next week I will probably do some sneak peeks at the new version that I'm doing. And I should have the voice auditions coming out for Frozen Terror 4. So be ready for that. Uh, please send in your subscription or your uh, request. Uh, be a subscriber and uh, send it through the PMs. All right, thank you.